Happy New Year! All right, y'all. Happy New Year and welcome back. Today, I have a very, very, very special guest. My daddy is going to teach us how to make Guyanese cook up rice, which is traditionally a... Um, like a New Year's, this is the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, so this is the uh, Black Eyed Peas variety, which is what we do at New Year's uh, for the same reasons. It's a tradition. Uh, Black Eyed Peas is supposed to be uh, good luck mm. uh, in our tradition as well. So, uh, so on New Year's Eve, or what we call Old Year's Night. Old Year's Night. Um, so today would be Old Year's Night, because that's this is the last night of, the, of 2020, in this case, the Old Year. And so we um, are saying goodbye to 2020 uh, and, we'll with, and good luck um, for 2021. I think what's interesting there is the fact that Black Eyed Peas throughout the whole African diaspora is seen as a symbol of good luck yes. for New Year's. Yes. Because it's not just Guyanese culture, it's like some of the other Southern Caribbean culture, cultures, all the Caribbean African cultures, places, African, all of the African American culture, you know, yep. African Southern, American, right. That yep. black eyed peas is what's the good luck with the collard greens. That's the right. rendition with African Americans. So I just think that that's so fair. Yep. So we want to jump right in to our ingredients then, Dad. So I'm going to let you just educate um, us. This is cook up rice and it, 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 it's what it's, this sounds like, right? We cook up uh, typically a bunch of stuff in cook up rice is the number one ingredient, right? Because we're gonna basically be cooking that rice. Uh, it's a black eyed peas cook up. So we um, prepared black eyed peas. Um, we soaked it overnight. It's, it's preferable. Is it still on? Oh, no. uh, and then we boiled it for uh, about 30 minutes or so. Uh, since it's soaked overnight, we only had to boil it for 30 minutes or so. We put a whole onion in it as we boiled it. So it's nice and soft. It's, it's, it's boiled for about 30, 40 minutes. And so it's, uh, the consistency is not too mushy or anything like that because it's gonna be, have to cook in the rice. Um, and then, so we have seasonings. We have onion, green onion, um, re uh, regular onions and, and this is, garlic. This is yellow onion, or this is yellow onion. Okay. I I just use yellow onion. I don't use the other onions. So about two or three small onions cut up. Uh, okay. Since this is a vegan dish, I kind of go higher with the onion uh, content. Okay. First off, thank you for veganizing this because for so long, you know, and all three of your daughters are now vegan, and so. Cook up rice is such a staple, and so we begged our dad to make sure that he could veganize the cook up rice, and it was simple for you to do it. Yes, it was. It was, and I and I even like so it. easy. Right. Exactly. When so I was done, we're not I, making the other one anymore. I I haven't made the uh, regular cook up in in years. Um, and we're gonna make sure once that I you did don't that. ever make it again. But. The other main ingredient that makes it cook up rice versus peas and rice is that it has coconut milk. Oh, That's the distinction. Okay. If you don't use, some people don't like to use coconut milk. We, mm -hmm. we call that peas and rice. Oh, right? Right. I use a lot of coconut milk in my cook up rice because it just gives so much oomph to it, so much flavor mm -hmm. uh, to it. Most people would use half as much as I use, okay. uh, but I like to use, I'm going to use at least three cans. I've got a, 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 a 16 ounce uh, bag of um, dried black eyed peas. That's what you soaked overnight. That's what I soaked overnight. Okay. So the, for, for that much black eyed peas, I go with at least three cups of rice. And what kind of rice is this? This is jasmine rice. It's the so, best rice that right. you could this ever have. This is in honor of jasmine. It's nothing else. More. So it's jasmine rice. I have four <laughs> cups in here because okay. again, I it, you know, it, it, our tradition, we kind of judge it as we go along okay. uh, really <laughs> so it's going to be somewhere between three and four i may end up uh, going with just three okay. uh when i look at uh, at everything i like to go with a deeper pot uh this is maybe not the perfect i have a smaller version of this but i thought it might be too small so okay. too big as my dad used to say too big is a fit you can't go wrong if it's too big. And where it's do you just buy these shallow. pots though? i feel like these pots just show up so any big, caribbean right? store the Caribbean store the has The Caribbean these? store has those, right. Um, like, I don't see, okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a staple <laughs> in the Caribbean store. So about a medium, medium uh, 
uh, fire. I'm going to put some olive oil. This is going to be my base. So I'll spread uh, garlic. Y'all see my dad's fancy balls he got for y'all. Okay. <laughs> Everything. That's mine's bowl there. Okay. And then uh -huh. I'm uh, adding my green onions. And I'm adding my regular onions. Fry it up a bit for a couple of minutes. I like my onion to, and my garlic especially, to kind of start sort of cooking or frying pretty much, start getting a, leaf, a tad dark. My mother taught me that trick because it, um, it uh, gives it some flavor. And she normally does that for curries, but I kind of put that in everything I do. I'll take the, um, the uh, peas, the black eyed peas out of the um, pan. And I'm just gonna drop it in. One of the things you wanna do is keep what I call the goo that the black eyed peas was boiled in because that's going to be the first um, liquid that I'm going to add as I add the liquid to the mix. So once I have that in there, I'm going to put my uh, garlic powder or granulated garlic. Never can have too much garlic in Caribbean cooking. My black pepper. Add some regular salt or kosher salt or sea salt, whatever it is that you like. So what I'm going to start to do now is add my liquids. Just pour that liberally in there. This is the base for what's going to cook up with my rice. Then I'm going to put my at least three cups of rice because the rice um, will rise almost to the level of the water. Mm. So how much ever water you have in there, you or, or in this case coconut milk you have in there, cover this down and let it uh, come back in about 10 minutes, take a look at it. So it's been, the, the cook up has been cooking for about 15, uh, 17 minutes. About 10 minutes ago, mm -hmm. seven minutes in, I checked the cook up. And here's how you know whether you want to, you need to add more liquid. At, at about seven minutes, I, I checked it mm -hmm. and it was already, you know, settling in pretty good, but the rice was still, I, I checked the texture of the rice and it was still pretty hard. So I went, went on and added the, the, mm. the standby um, can of coconut milk. I added it to it and uh, and then I let it cook, you know, up to, up to this point. A cook up always burns at the bottom a little bit. So it always burns. You know, There's no way to prevent that. Well, it's almost like you don't want to prevent it. That's part of the the tradition. Okay. Burn part at the very bottom. There's a thin layer of rice that settles in. We call it as kids. We call it bun bun, <laughs> as in short for burnt burnt, <laughs> right? <laughs> and really, what happens is the kids always fight over who gets the bun bun or. <laughs> Or, or we prefer that more than even the regular uh, parts of the cook up rice. Reason being is that a lot, all the seasonings and everything settles at the bottom somewhat. Okay. So okay. that's that's the most seasoned part of it. The oh, bun bun okay. is always kind of like the best part. <laughs> so it would be a shame so if, if you don't, thing. but it created a tradition that I didn't want you guys to not experience. And so you have bun bun. <laughs> And so like you know, it's burnt though, but it doesn't burn. It's taste. burnt, but it's good. It's really good. Um, now I it's tested the, the rice again. Me. I think, and you check it, Jasmine. But what am I looking for? Feel, feel the consistency. Would you eat it like that, or you think it needs to be a little softer? A little softer. Right. Here is my trusted standby. Oh, this is why we had to say the, the goo. The goo. This okay. is from this the black eyed pea. So this is what. I already added my, my back of my last oh. can of cook. Now, one of the things you don't want to do with your bun bun is mix it in with the regular rice. Oh, uh, that's why Leave it on its own. That's why I'm smooth. I'm, I'm going all the way to the bottom. Okay. I'm kind of scooping it. Oh, uh, so right? that's the bun bun. You can see there. Yeah, so that's the bun bun. If, like, uh, if you go in there, that's some bun bun there. It's not as, it's a little disappointing. It's not as much as <laughs> we used to like as kids. 
But uh, <laughs> that's not funny. Yeah, okay. not the burnt piece is not bad enough. It is the bun bun is the best part. It's the burnt. That's the quotation from, from my childhood. The bun bun is the best part. And so okay. cook up. So we'll let that go for maybe another five minutes. Okay. It should dry out nice. And so now I like the softness. I can just touch it and taste it. Mm. Perfect. Perfect texture. Wow. Um, which is kind of like the way you eat regular rice. It has a smoky, like a natural, like yeah. smoky taste to it. And that's the secret is the coconut that. milk and the black eyed peas goo, the goo as opposed to plain water. But so I, can you tell the good people what you pair the cook up with? Like traditionally Guyanese cuisine, so, what does it go with? Um, because this is vegan, <laughs> well, cook up rice is self-contained. It's a self-contained dish. Yeah. And because this is vegan, it's self-contained with vegan stuff, mm -hmm. right? The regular stuff that I grew up eating, of course. Which we, we're not going to we're like, It would be. We're not even going but to mention. The key is that it's that also it it's also self-contained. You don't eat it with anything because cook up is cooking up a whole bunch of stuff with rice. Right. Rice, so in essence, it's beef. almost like a jambalaya, if you will. It's like a jambalaya. It's literally like a jambalaya. There's different forms of cook up. This is a black eyed peas cook up. During the year, oh. we make split peas cook up sometimes you make vegetable cook up like okra throughout the year this is kind of like the thing we do mostly new year's always uh oh year's night so that's it that's done that's it simple as that wow done. well here you have it y'all my dad brought it to y'all thank you so much daddy for that you're welcome and happy gotcha. new year's to everyone um and this is what what you what we call all year's night right so what you call right. new year's day New Year's Day. <laughs> That's why this is New Year's night. It's I not New see. Year's Eve. I was looking for right. something a little deeper than that. And New Year's Day. <laughs> New Year's Day is New Year's but Happy New Year, y'all. And <laughs> hope you love the... Is it hot? Can I lift it? Yeah, it's Ooh, a little hot. It's shoot. a little hot. Yeah, yeah. I was going to try it. Okay. My dad would lift it. <laughs> My um, dad would lift it with his bare hand. Oh, yeah. Because it's, you know, okay. the cells are all... Uh, you know. Oh, cause that's because he was he cut sugar cane. Yeah, he's a, he's a cane cutter. Yeah, so wow. it's, you get the calluses. So he would just lift this up. Never needs mittens and things like that. Um, oh my goodness! You know, maybe the ancestors halfway there. of it all, honey. They're not going yeah. through it. Beautiful. Do y'all see that bomb? Well, thank y'all for joining us, and we will post the ingredients as well at the bottom of this video. So y'all stay tuned and stay safe and have a wonderful New Year.